In this lesson, I am going to implement queueable Apex. So first of all, I am going to create a Apex class. So this Apex class name will be update parent account. And in this Apex class, I am going to implement queueable interface. So before implementation of code, let's jump into account records. So if I open any account record, so on that account record, you will see we have a field called parent account. So for certain records, I will be populating this parent account with the help of queueable Apex. So I, uh, in my uh, previous lesson, I already uh, told you the difference between future method and queuable Apex. So in queuable Apex, uh, we can process uh, beyond primitive as well, like as objects we can process. So that you will see in this demonstration. So here I'm creating private list of account, ACC list. And one more variable I created known as parent account ID. So this, this ACC list will be the list where all the accounts will be available on which I need to populate parent account ID. And the parent account ID will be available in this variable. These are private to this class only. Now I'm going to create a constructor. So in this constructor, two arguments will be available. First parameter will be receiving list of account records and second parameter will be receiving particular ID. Now I'm using this dot This dot ACC list equals to ACC records. And this dot parent account ID equals to ID. So whatever value will be available in this ID that will go to parent account ID and ACC records list will be copied into this ACC list. And for class variables, we generally use this uh, keyword known as this. Now, after defining this constructor, I'm going to define execute method. So as we are implementing queueable Apex, so we need to define this execute method only. If we implement batch, so in that case, we need to define start and finish as well. But here in queueable Apex, you just need to define only one execute method. Then this parameter queueable context, variable name is context. Now I am iterating a for loop. So inside this loop, I'm writing account ACC, ACC list. So this loop will be iterating on ACC list. Now, ACC dot parent ID equals to parent account ID. So the records will be available in this ACC list. They are iterating with the help of this for each loop. Each record will be available in this ACC variable. And uh, uh, with this ACC dot parent ID, the ID which is stored in this parent account ID variable will be copied. So it means each account record will be having a parent ID. Now, after completion of this loop, what I can do, I can write update ACC list. So this way, this queueable Apex is implemented. Now I just need to execute this queueable Apex. So for that purpose, I am opening anonymous window. And in this anonymous window, I will be first querying some records and then we'll be calling this queueable Apex. So I am creating list of account, ACC list. Then I am selecting ID from account where billing state equals to NY. So these will be the records 
where we need to populate parent ID. Now I'm going to fetch one account record so that uh, that account records ID, I can populate as parent ID on the records which are available in this ACC list. So here I am writing select ID from account where, so I am moving here and I'm copying this name, account 025. So I will be using this here, where name equals to this dot, sorry, zero dot ID. So this way you can see like uh, one record will be queried as you know, SOQL always returns a list. So that's why I used zero, uh, zeroth index and dot ID. So the account record, which is available on the zeroth index, its ID will be returned into this parent ID. So we have both the data. We have account list where we need to populate parent ID and uh, this parent ID variable is having particular account ID. Now, what I need to do, I need to create instance of update parent account class. So creating instance as update job, the new update parent account, then passing first parameter as ACC list and second parameter as parent ID. Now after this, I just need to write ID job ID equals to system dot NQ job. And here I need to pass this update job. So when this NQ job method will be executed with the help of this update job instance, so one job ID will be returned. And with the help of this job ID, you can track the process status of the a job that is created. So now I need to execute this. So I'm just copying this and just moving here so that I can have the list of account records. So I'm selecting all accounts. And here you can see uh, we have a billing state as NY, right? And uh, we don't have parent account. So I'm just going and dragging that field as well. So this is parent account and shifting it to above, save. So here you can see this parent account is available and it is blank for all. Now, after execution, you will see like wherever billing state is and why. So parent ID will be populated and parent ID will be of uh, the record, which is queried as account 025, right? So now I'm going to execute this code. So I'm clicking on execute. It is executed. So here, if you refresh this, your Apex job page, so you will see one entry. So here you can see job type is queuable and status is completed. Total batches zero, batches persist zero, failure zero and uh, this is the job id so let's see what happens when i refresh this so i need to select all accounts again and here you can see uh, where billing state is and why so here you can see parent account is populated as account 025 right so this way with the help of this code, like we are able to perform queuable Apex operation. And uh, this is the way like how you can query the data and you can pass it. Now, after understanding this, we need to implement its test class as well so that we can cover the code which is implemented in this queuable Apex. So I'm going to create new class and uh, naming it as update parent account test. So as you know, whenever we create any test class, we need to use this at the rate is test annotation. Then I'm using at the rate test setup. So in the setup method, I will be creating the data. So static void setup 
and in this setup method i am going to create the data so list of account acc list equals to new list of account then acc list dot add new account name equals to parent so this is the account record which will be the parent account for uh, several accounts right now i am iterating one loop and in this loop i am going to create 100 account records So this way with this loop, 100 account records will be created and they will be added into this ACC list. Now after completion of this loop, I can write insert ACC list. So all the account records will be inserted. So this way uh, through this setup method, I created the data. So I created both parent account and as well as the accounts where uh, I need to uh, populate this parent ID. Now creating one more method and defining it as uh, at the rate is test. So private static void test queuable. And inside this method, I'm going to query parent record that I created above in the setup method. So I queried the uh, account record where name is parent and uh, it will be available on the zero index because whenever we apply SOQL, so list will be returned. So zeroth index and then ID. Now, after that, I am writing one more statement, list of account, ACC list equals to, then select ID name from account where name like test account. So all those records will be queried where uh, name is like this. So now we have both the things. I have the list account list where I need to populate the parent account and uh, the parent account will be this record. Uh, its ID is available in this parent ID. Now I can create instance of this update parent account queuable apex class and passing these two lists these two parameters so first parameter is acc list and second parameter is parent id and these two parameters will be passed into these two uh, into this constructor into these two parameters right now after creation of this instance, I need to call the nqjob method. So for that, I'm just writing test dot start test and here system dot nqjob and I'm passing update job. Then test dot stop test. So this way, nqjob method will be calling the queuable apex and which queuable apex, uh, whose instance we created and we passed here, right? So uh, this way, uh, queuable apex method will be executed. Uh, this, this is the method which will be executed. And now we need to apply system.assert so that we can check whether proper execution happened or not. So I am checking it like this hundred comma. And here I'm directly writing select count from count where parent ID equals to parent ID. 
So here we have a parent ID and uh, I'm querying that parent ID variable with this field that will be available on the account records. So after execution of this uh, NQ job, these hundred account records should be updated with the, with the parent account. Uh, like parent account field will be updated. And uh, with this SOQL, if uh, like 100 count is returned, so this 100 will be equals. So this way I implemented the test class for queuable Apex. Now it's time to execute this test class. So I'm just clicking on this run test. Okay, it is failing. So let's see what is the mistake. Okay, so there is some mistake in the assert statement. So actually I did a mistake. I just forgot to put percent sign here because I'm query, I was querying the accounts where name is like test account. But actually we created test account with this I variable. So they will be having one, two, three, four, five. So beginning will be test account and then uh, they will be having the digits. So when I put this percent sign, so in that case it will execute properly. So now again, I'm clicking on run test. So you can see it is executing successfully. All tests are passed. And if I go here and uh, check the code coverage, so it is 100%. So this way with the help of this uh, test class like we can validate our code is correctly implemented and 100% code coverage is there now briefly i am going to uh, demo like how uh, you can chain more than one processes with the help of queuable apex so for example let's implement one apex class named as first job and here you need to implement one interface viewable. Now inside this, you will be implementing execute method. So here you can write some code that you want to execute. And inside this, with the help of system dot NQ jobs, you can initiate next call for another queuable job. So let's say we have one more class named as second job. So if uh, you are implementing this first job as a queuable class, and this is already implemented. So with this first job, you can initiate second job. So when this execute method is executing, so it can initiate uh, the execute method of this second job class. So this way you can uh, create a chain of uh, queuable Apex classes. So this is a simple demonstration uh, that is like showing how you can create chain of queuable Apex jobs. So this is all about queuable Apex demonstration.